Today we're on number four of the uh, Halloween films. Yes. We're watching Psycho. Oh. The only concern I have is, has it, has it aged well? Okay. I know yeah. it's Hitchcock, you know, it's, a, it's a, the best director that's ever lived. I know it's Psycho. The, is it? Arguably one of the best films and it's the first slasher film. But I don't know how much of a slasher it is. I know. I mean, I, I obviously know about the, the main like shower scene because I've yeah. seen it yeah. referenced in everything. Yeah. But apart from that, apart from that I, I don't really know what it is because I, I, I kind of get the gist because it is called or labelled as a slasher. But in terms of the actual story, I don't know. I think the only other thing that I know about this film is maybe that um, it's a son obsessed with his mother. Apart from that, are you excited for yeah, it? Yeah, I'm excited for it. Yeah. Are you are you think it's gonna you gonna rate it higher or lower than the fly? I don't know. Oh, the fly was an experience, wasn't it? Yeah. The fly was like a roller coaster at Universal Studios, <laughs> where I threw up at the end. Oh god, I'm not expecting to rate this higher than yeah. the fly, so I'll be. I'm not expecting. Nice, I'm not expecting be to nice be surprise. scared by this. Maybe it'll be no. a little bit thrilling, like maybe eerie. Yeah. Because it is black and white, and there might be some. Directing style that Hitchcock, uh, you know, solidifies in this type of genre. I don't know. Cinema rules here, and we're watching Psycho, 1960. I'm really nervous about watching this. Not because I think it's going to be scary, but I don't want to dislike Psycho and a, a Hitchcock movie uh, like, yeah. like so, Psycho. It's always difficult with these sort of films because you really want to love classics and classics are always popular for a reason but some people can just love them without merit. You sure talk like a girl who's been married. <sighs> Sam, this mm -hmm. is the last time. She remarries, the Elmoy stops. I haven't even been married once yet. Yeah, but when you do, you'll swing. Oh, Sam, let's get married. Oh, she's not married, it's him. Yeah. Marion, right, you want to cut this off? Go out and find yourself somebody available? I'm thinking of it. They went through so much in that short scene. Yeah, they literally, like so much. They got so much story from that but one did, but scene. But it didn't feel like exposition. Yeah. It felt like natural dialogue. Conversation. My daughter, a baby. Tomorrow she stands her sweet self up there and gets married away from me. I'm buying this house for my baby's wedding present. Forty thousand dollars cash. Is that it? I'll take two. Now, that's yeah. That's Jesus. I don't even want it in the office over the weekend. Put it in the safe deposit box in the bank and we're gonna give us a check on Monday instead. Forty K just in her handbag. She's gonna nick it. Nah. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I love how the money's taken on this like persona of its own already and the camera keeps just like... What? Just pan into, pan it. into it. Oh! Oh! There's something about this where I really feel like in the scene. Hmm. I feel like it's... Older films, they're a lot more like... Closed. Formed, aren't they? They're almost... Like theatre in a way. So when does Christian Bale show up? That's American <laughs> Psycho. Mine still isn't in? No, Mr. Larry, but then she's always a bit late on Monday mornings. Buzz me the minute she comes in. Is making you think like is she imagining oh, that's oh, what's happening right now? Or is it actually happening? I do like that though. That type of storytelling. There it is. It is. Oh, you literally beat me to it. It does look like a creepy place, doesn't it? Cabin 1. It's closer in case you want anything. Right next to the office. Sleep oh, you already gives else? me the creep. I think he's an assuming, isn't he? He's definitely he's an good. assuming, but... But because I assume him. <laughs> this is the problem, isn't it? We know that he's the... Do we, though? Stabber. I, I don't... I have no idea. I think like, it is. Is he? You're not really going to go out again and drive up to the diner, are you? No. Well, then would you do me a favour? Would you have dinner with me? I was just about to myself. Oh, I think he's a nice guy. Mm. I think he's a nice guy. He's a bit too forward, a bit too creepy. Don't put it in there. 
Someone's just going to pick up the newspaper and think it's nothing. No, I tell you, no. I won't have you bringing strange young girls in for supper. Whether she's just a stranger, she's hungry and it's raining out. But it's him making both of those, those voices. I don't really know anything about birds. My hobby is stuffing things. You know, taxidermy. So weird. I, I think only birds look well stuffed because, well, because they're such a weird kind fucking of hobby. Passive to begin with. It's a strange hobby. Curious. Uncommon too. If anyone ever talked to me the way I heard, the way she spoke to you. Oh, cameras changed there. What was that? Sometimes, when she talks to me like that, I feel I'd like to go up there and curse her. And, and, and leave her forever. Or at least a fire. But I know I can't. Mm. She's ill. Wouldn't it be better if you put her someplace? You mean an institution? A madhouse? People always call a madhouse someplace, don't they? Put her in someplace. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it to sound uncaring. What do you know about caring? Have you ever seen the inside of one of those places? Of course, I've suggested it myself. But I hate to even think about it. She needs me. She just goes a little mad sometimes. We all go a little mad sometimes. Oh, Haven't God, you? he creeps me out. I'm very tired. And I'll have a long drive tomorrow. All the way back to Phoenix. All right, Miss uh, Crane. What do you think of that scene? I thought it was insane, but it was the writing, man. I loved it. Yeah, it never really lost momentum in the conversation. Never became dull. You were always. It was almost like he was constantly edging and edging and showing himself more and more. Oh my God. It's almost like transferred over to him now, the camera. Do you know yeah, what I mean? That's yeah. cool, isn't it's it? following him yeah. now. No, this can't be the scene already. Behind the door. This is it, boys! Oh, the sound! That doesn't look like him, though. That wasn't him, that was the mum. Uh, that looked like the mum. Mate, people would have been horrified at that in the 60s. Like that transition. It looks like quite a modern style shot to have in a film. Yeah. This old. The sound there is so uncanny and weird, isn't it? When he was speaking, and yeah. he's gonna be the mum as well. Yeah, you're gonna put on a wig. I don't know why I found that shocking, but I was just. If your mum had killed someone, what would you do in that situation? <laughs> would you rat her in? What the hell are you doing? <laughs> she was literally the main character for other whole first half of this movie yeah and now she's just Mate, dead. I can't even imagine how what people would feel like seeing this for the first time not knowing about the story and just being like watching this guy dispose of the body and it's like yeah it's, it's like a, it's like murder it's yeah and no horrific. one would have really experienced like a murder or a psychopath like on screen yeah in the 60s so they would have been like this is I can't handle this There's no real cuts as well like jump cuts it's just mm literally the whole process like a film nowadays wouldn't have taken its time with this whole yeah, process yeah it wouldn't have it would have jumped just I, jump cut jump cut but jump then cut. I think you really needed that intro with her if that's the last we see of the money I I'm going to be God. really annoying I'm going to say oh he's just pushing it into the swamp it's her car isn't it yeah it's the money gone yeah, look at that shot the money yeah <laughs> Money. The money's in there. Oh my god, that's two characters murdered. Her and the money. Yeah. <laughs> yes, miss? I'm Marion's sister. That's... Sure, Lila. Oh. Is Marion here? 
Oh, of course not. She left home on Friday. I was in Tucson over the weekend, and I haven't heard from her since. My name is Arbogast, friend. I'm a private investigator. Your girlfriend stole $40,000. What are you talking about? What is this? She was supposed to bank it on Friday for her boss. And she didn't. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Is that the, is that the Joker? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you see, I'm looking for a missing person. My name's Arbogast. I'm a private investigator. Well, no one stopped here for a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. Well, she may have used Practice an alias. Uh, Marion Crane's a real name, but she... Could have registered under a different one. So I have a sample of her handwriting. Oh, oh yes. She's starting to chew faster. Here yeah. we are. Lee in. Samuels. Look how much he's leaning in. Oh, yeah. Well, it, it was raining and um, her hair was all wet. I tell you, it's not, it's not really a very good picture of her either. No, I guess not. Well, tell me all about it. Well, um,. She arrived uh, rather late one night, and she went straight to sleep and uh, left early the next morning. Oh man, you get to root for so many characters in this, don't you? Like, I'm already yeah. invested with the inspector already. I'm invested in the inspector, but at the same time, weirdly enough, yeah. because I I like the guy's acting, yeah. Norman Bates. Uh, oh, I don't mind? want him to get found out either. Is anyone at home? No. Oh, well, there's somebody sitting up in the window. No, 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 there isn't. Oh sure, go ahead, take a look. Oh, that, that, that must be my mother. She might have fooled me, but she didn't fool my mother. Well, then your mother met her. Can I, can I talk to your mother? No, as I oh. told you, she's, she's confined. Yes, but just for a few minutes, that's all. There might be some hint that you missed out. Oh, what is he you doing? Know, sick old women are usually pretty sharp. Uh, just, Mr. Just Mr. Mr. Arbogast, I wouldn't disturb uh, her. I think, I've, I think I've talked to you all I want to. Yes, but so, just for... I think it'd be much better if you left now. Thanks. Thanks. Get out of there. Oh, my God. Mate, he dug himself a hole. So bad. But he was kind of... Uh, he was twitching, he was stuttering, yeah. he was he got angry. All the bad signs. Lila, listen. Marion was up here. Yeah, she spent last Saturday night at the Bates Motel. It's right out here on the old highway. I even know what cabin she was in. It was number one. Well, I tell you, I don't feel entirely satisfied. Uh, see, this boy had a sick old mother. I think she saw Marion and talked to her. All right, see you in about an hour, or less. I'm telling you, this gave Alfred Hitchcock the idea for the birds. <laughs> or, or he already knew he was going to do the birds and just planted seeds. Yeah. <laughs> seeds, get it? For, for the, the birds. birds! Oh, look at that weird shot. Yeah, very weird. This reminds me of... Um, oh, that's so, like, he's... It looks, the background looks solitary, that. but then... Yeah. The camera was moving as he was, so it... It's unnatural because he never yeah. reaches the... Yeah. Oh! What? She's just a crazy... What the... What? She just comes out of nowhere. Patience doesn't run in my family, Sam. I'm going out there. An hour or less. Even though horror is a, is a popular genre, it's not, you know, Oscar worthy genre you know it's not like that type of stature genre but it can but, be and it should be but hitchcock oh, one yes. of the best directors that have ever oh, lived yes. is a horror yeah. i guess director. it's i guess it's sort of he's more thriller though isn't he i think there's a difference i guess so thrillers are quite like character driven and suspenseful mm. and horror yeah i guess so it could just be Maybe gore yeah. or blood or jump scares. Yeah, I guess his borders on the line of horror and thriller. No Abigast, no Bates. Only the old lady at home. Sick old lady unable to answer the door or unwilling. Where could he have gone? Let's go see Al Chambers. Who's he? Our deputy sheriff around here. He traced her there and called us to say he was going to question Mrs. Bates. Norman took a wife? No, I don't think so. Uh, an old woman. Uh, his mother. Uh, Norman? Sheriff Chambers. I've been just fine, thanks. Listen, we got worries here. Uh, have you uh, had a fellow stop by there tonight? This detective was there. Norman told him about the girl. The detective thanked him, and he went away. And he didn't come back? He didn't see the mother? Norman Bates's mother has been dead and buried in Green Lawn Cemetery for the past ten years. What? Mrs. Bates poisoned this guy. She was... 
involved with when she found out he was married. Then Who's the killer? The same it's not him, is it? Not him. <laughs> no, we're bait. Norman found them dead together. No, I will not hide in the fruit cellar. I'll carry you, mother. Put me down. We thought if you didn't mind, we'd drive out to that motel with you. She's already been. She used a fake name. Saw the register myself. Saw the whole place, as a matter of fact. That boy's alone there. No mother. You must have seen an illusion, Sam. I still won't feel satisfied until I go out there. Neither will I. There's going to be a massive reveal, yeah, isn't there, that he's going to be place. the mum, and it's just going to be like, what? Just coming up the ring for you. Uh-huh. Suppose you want to run. Sam, we have to go into that cabin and search it, no matter what we're afraid of finding or how much it may hurt. I know. They won't they find it. Happen, I think. No shot of Sam, huh? look. What is it? It's figure. It didn't get washed down. Look, some figure has been... Added to or subtracted from forty thousand. That proves Mary what? was here to be too wild a coincidence. What well, is it? The note she made of the forty thousand take away seven hundred. They found a bit of it in the toilet the and got flushed. But that old woman, whoever she is, she told our guest something. I want her to tell us the same thing. Well, let's find him. One of us can keep him occupied while the other gets to the old woman. Oh, don't split up. It's the worst the thing you could do. <sighs> Scooby Doo one oh one. Everyone who has entered has died. Just thought you ought to know. You're alone here, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Drive me crazy. I'd do just about anything to get away. Wouldn't you? No. <laughs> How are you gonna do it? Do what? Buy a new one. In a new town where you won't have to hide your mother. Why don't you just get in your car and drive away from here, okay? Where will you get the money to do that, Bates? But you already have it. Soft away. Shut up! A lot of it. Forty thousand dollars. I bet your mother knows where the money is and what you did to get it. I think she'll tell us. <gasps> uh oh. Don't go back upstairs. Oh, okay, good. She's gonna go to the basement. Oh, oh no, just even worse. That is so creepy. I got the whole story, but not from Norman. I got it from his mother. Norman Bates no longer exists. That is, from the mother half of Norman's mind. No. You have to go back ten years. Even this guy I'm invested to in. the time man. when Norman murdered his mother and her lover. Knew it. He had to erase the crime. At least in his own mind. So he began to think and speak for her. Give her half his life, so to speak. At times, he could be both personalities, carry on conversations. At other times, the mother half took over completely. Now, he was never all Norman. But he was often only mother. And because he was so pathologically jealous of her, he assumed that she was as jealous of him. Therefore, if he felt a strong attraction to any other woman, the mother's side of him would go wild. Makes sense. It feels like walk about the house, sit in her chair, this sit is Hitchcock he tried to explaining to the audience what he now, what he yes. wants the audience yeah, to know. Yeah, 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 100%. Now, that's what I meant. When I I he could have visually see, described it instead of this. Yeah, but I don't know if an audience back then would, would, have, would have been as accepting or as um, ready to explain that to themselves as today's audience can easily. It's sad when a mother has to speak the words that condemn her own son and in the end he intended to tell them I killed those girls and that man as if I could do anything except just sit and stare. They're probably watching me. Well, let them. Let them see what kind of a person I am. I'm not even going to swat that fly. They'll see and they'll know and they'll say why, she wouldn't even harm a fly. Oh. Oh, that was a shot. The end, that yeah. was a shot and a half. Definitely. Is 
he a casualty of his mother or is his mother a casualty of him? It's so intertwined, isn't it? Yeah. I always try and read a film, watch a film contextually and think about the time, time. period and everything like that. Yeah. But I'm going to give it 9.4. Oh, wow. Gee, what? Really? I knew you'd react like that. Jesus. Yeah. So your highest rated? I'm going to give it 9.4, yeah. I thought oh, it was wow. insane. Okay. I absolutely loved it. So if I was to react to this or rate this contextually versus uh, as a film today, these ra those ratings would be completely different. Yeah, same. So I'm going to... So, for example, as a film today, I would rate it a 7.9. Yeah. But as a film back then, I would rate it an 8.1. Before we say anything, I do want to say that I do think it's a brilliant film. The, th the things that I'm going to say probably are going to sound very critical of the film. Okay, yeah, yeah. But I want... But I'll go... For, I'll start off with the, the positives. The directing style, of course, it's uh, Alfred Hitchcock. So uh, his experimental uh, compositions and his, his, his shots um, were brilliant. One of the best shots was... That, zo that zoom, zoom out pan from off the eye. eye yeah. um, it's so. I will call it revolutionary. I think it's yeah, not word too much, yeah. but for the time period, it is. No, it you is. You don't get these these kinds of shots. I'm going to say the dialogue rather than the writing, because I feel like they're two different uh, elements of the film. So the dialogue I really enjoyed because it was just I don't know what what it was about the dialogue. It was just very gripping. Um, there was one scene which for yeah. me ha will become, I need to rewatch it, but yeah. I think it will become one of my favourite dialogue like he's scenes. Talking to he's her. talking to her in the office. office in the back. It seems really long, but not in a bad way. No, definitely because not. Because they speak about so much stuff and it just, oh my God, it's just so, it's suspenseful, it's tense, yeah. but it's beautiful writing. I absolutely love it. I think yeah. it's insane. Yeah. Like, amazing. No, I, and I completely agree. The acting i thought was top notch especially yeah, from yeah. uh norman bates definitely he was yeah. the best he 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 was the best thing about this film uh in terms of acting i thought they were all great no i thought they were all great but he just blew it out of the park with yeah. his subtle uh, f uh expressions his smile his uh gritting of his teeth you could see his jawline um being he, you know when he got angry he was tapping yeah he played that he played that innocent youth really well but then when it came to it, he played that real sinister... On the edge of yeah. sinister, angry, yeah, losing his shit. Yeah. Set. I can't tell whether it's the... Whether Bates Motala, in terms of the actual house, is a model. It's a model. It's a model, is It's a it? model, yeah. Because that looked great as well. Yeah. It looks so uncanny, unnatural. Yeah. Not necessarily like a haunted house, but there's something... It has its own character. I kind of like the fact that... Even though we were introduced to her at the very beginning as the main character, and even though she died halfway through, she still remained almost the main character of the film because it centralised around her, the story. Yeah, and then she's People still, trying to find her. The presence her. is still sort of there yeah. like that. But I love the fact that we follow these other characters. And, well, the proof in the power of the writing is that you get invested in those characters in a real short space of time. No, I was really invested with that inspector when he got when he was like falling down the stairs. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, because yeah, I had no definitely. idea about that death. No, no, neither did I. That was shocking, me, and that, that shocked me, and I really felt like a bit. My heart was going, and but, I feel like if I felt like that now, yeah, how would I have felt? Yeah, definitely. When I, and, if I didn't know about the and that's the thing. The one thing that I was worried about this film was that it wouldn't shock me and it wouldn't surprise me, but it still did, even though. Even though I didn't, I knew about this film and I knew what it was. I, yeah, I still had no idea. Yeah, it was. It's, yeah. A, it's a weird way of explaining yeah. it. But. I mean, I thought there were a few things in terms of story that I perhaps think would have worked better in terms of like finding those little scraps of paper with the notes on. I found that unrealistic that they'd seen that and then noticed the numbers. I would have. How rather, long was it in that toilet? I would have <laughs> rather. I would have rather. Because obviously Norman Bates never knew about the money, so I would have rather her hide the money in the bathroom somewhere, they find, find that, the and then there's proof that she was there. That would have been more realistic to me, because then they didn't use the money anyway. Yes, yeah, so, no, exactly. Um, that would have been a better story point for me. I felt like 
the exposition at the end was simply Hitchcock saying, this is what I was thinking about, yeah, yeah. or this is what I was trying yeah. to uh, get across to you guys, and I'm going to get this guy to explain that to you. People are familiar with psychology today, with, mm. this, with the idea of borderline personality disorders and, and so on. Um, but back then, but back then, this is a concept that I don't think has been seen probably was before. new. Yeah. So especially when it comes to he killed his parents, or well, he killed his mother and the the other man. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's a revelation for the audience that they wouldn't have seen coming. That's the thing because um, we we saw it coming. Yeah, we said it a few times throughout the movie. But again, that... I don't think. But again, we knew that he was the killer, whereas an an audience wouldn't have known. That he was the no, no, so, yeah, and so, so they saw him come through that door wearing the yeah, now, wearing his mother's clothes. Well, that's the thing, like, and that's why I I say with this film I have two ratings for it, contextually, and seeing it nowadays. And I think my 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 rating now as an eight point one, kind of merges the two because yeah. because I did see that twist coming, so it wasn't as shocking. I love the score as well. It's iconic, obviously, because I've seen it. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, of this is a film that we feel like we've. I feel like I've seen already because it's been referenced yeah, in pop definitely. culture so many times. Yeah. So I know the music, but when it when it when comes it in, you. when the shock comes yeah. in, it's not overused. Are you saying it's good only because test of time has created this iconic? No, uh, I don't think so. Because when it came on the shower scene, I already knew the sound. I yeah. already knew the scene, but when it came. When the inspector on the landing, on the landing yeah, that when, hit me she, when she or he, when Norman Bates came out on yeah. that landing, that like was a punch. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, definitely, definitely. Punch. All right, so that was our review and uh, reaction to Psycho. Let so that's us, number four on our list. Of, that, yeah, our, our Halloween four. list. Let us know if you want us to watch any more Hitchcock movies uh, because we will definitely be down to, to do it. Like the video, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Uh, if you want to see these reactions early or the full length reactions, check out our Patreon done in the link in the description. And um, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>